In this video, you will learn how to present the history of lower limb weakness in front of the examiner. This is a sample presentation. Remember that the disease and symptoms of the patient may vary. So modify your presentation according to the situation and condition of the patient. Let's start. Muhammad Amir is a 42-year-old businessman and resident of Lahore. He presented with weakness in both lower limbs for 12 days. Initially, this weakness started in both feet, but within two days, it progressed up to the thighs. According to the patient, both lower limbs are equally affected. Initially, when the disease started, he was able to walk with the help of stick, but from last two days, he is completely bedridden. Moreover, he feels heaviness in lower limbs, but there is no numbness or tingling sensation in the limbs. He complains of pain in the lower back. Pain is dull type and has no radiation, and it is relieved after taking paracetamol. There is no weakness in the upper limbs. He does not have any breathing or swallowing difficulty. He has no visual abnormalities. Bowel and bladder habits are normal. The patient also gives history of respiratory tract infection along with fever about five days ago before the development of weakness of limbs. There is no history of trauma, vaccination, surgery, or joint pains before development of weakness. Moreover, there is no history of weight loss or contact with a tuberculosis patient. There is no history of such episode in the past. There is no family history of such a disease. He is non-diabetic and non-hypertensive. He was not taking any medication on regular basis before the development of this weakness. He is married and has two children. We hope this video will help you in the clinical exam. Moreover, you can find more videos about history taking and its presentation on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel for the next coming videos.